people will be busy in the kitchen this weekend for 4th of July celebrations and it's also National Barbecue Day. Joining us to talk to us more this morning is food and lifestyle influencer Stephanie Bruce. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, thanks you so much for joining us. And uh, first of all, a lot of people, I know myself, uh, can, can get a little stressed when trying to entertain and cook for a large group of people. So um, what kind of recipe would you recommend uh, for making sure that your party goes smoothly? Absolutely, I'm exactly the same way. Preparing for a large group of people can always be stressful. So in those situations, I always like to bust out my crock pot. It just helps make things go so much smoother. So today we're basically making a dump and stir recipe that you don't have to mess with. And you could be working on your barbecue that takes it, you know, multiple hours to smoke out on the grill. So today we're gonna to be making a barbecue pork rind cheesy cowboy casserole. It is super easy and takes just a matter of minutes to put together and then you just let walk away and then serve it and your guests will be pleased. So what we're going to do is our first ingredient is ground beef. So I've already browned this up. It's one pound ground beef. We're going to put it in our crock pot and then we have a quarter cup of diced onions. Put those in. We're also using the Southern Recipe barbecue pork rinds. Now I know this sounds different to be adding into a casserole, but you can use it in place of breadcrumbs. It adds a really nice bacony crunch. So we're gonna add a cup of those. We have a can of drained uh, dark kidney beans, two cans of diced tomatoes with the juice still, and we also have a can of drained corn. And of course, like every good casserole recipe, we have a can of cream of mushroom soup. So we're going to add that in and then give everything a stir. Just let it all mix together. And then we're going to cover our crock pot and turn it on high for about four hours. Or if you need more time, you can turn it on low and it will cook for about seven hours. Once there's about a half hour left of cooking time, come back, remove the lid, and then you're going to take a cup of Mexican finely shredded cheese, pour it over the top, and cook for another half hour with the lid off, and that will absorb the moisture and make the cheese nice and melty and delicious. Once it's ready to be served, I personally love casserole dishes with beans and tomatoes served with tortilla chips. So grab a cute plate and some silverware that's disposable for your party. So it's one less thing to worry about cleaning up and scoop it. So I have some prepared here in a um, casserole dish. So if you don't have a crock pot, you can always create this in a casserole dish and put it in the oven for about an hour. And then the last 10 minutes, sprinkle it with the cheese and you're good to go. So those are my tips for preparing for a crowd that will please everybody. Wow, it looks amazing. And you have my mouth watering a little bit over here, Stephanie. Um, and that cream of mushroom soup always seems to be that secret ingredient to kind of hold everything together. But uh, so, so many great flavors there. Um, well, if someone wants any more information or recipes, where can they go? Sure, absolutely. You can go to southernrecipe.com for information about the pork rinds, or you can also visit my blog at gatheredinthekitchen.com and the recipe will be shared there along with other recipes that are great for the 4th of July and other barbecues. Wonderful. Well, I think uh, that recipe is going to help a lot of people, uh, you know, kind of de-stress on that uh, day where everyone should be having a lot of fun. So uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning and I hope you have a really wonderful 4th of July. Thank you. You too.